Today I'm bringing you a new lucid dreaming technique or perhaps an old one that someone else has come up with and I'm just not aware of um, but I'm going to call it the rehearsal induced lucid dream. Let's find out how you do it. Hey guys, welcome back to Tiffero. It's me Matt here and today I'm sharing another lucid dreaming method. Now, I haven't seen this lucid dreaming method anywhere else but as always, you know, it's possible that I simply haven't noticed it and maybe someone else has put out this method under another name. So if that's the case and there is already a method like this, feel free to correct me in the comments, let me know what it's called and if there is, I'll change the video title and so on um, and give credit where credit is due. But basically I came up with this method and the place that I got the idea for it was with methods for astral projection and out-of-body experiences. When I was trying rather unsuccessfully to have these experiences originally, one of the techniques that I found suggested that you actually basically rehearse yourself leaving your body before you actually do it. So before you go to bed, you actually walk through your room and you kind of memorize the process of walking from your bed out of your room over and over and over. You keep doing that. And then you lay down in bed and you try and go through the memory of yourself doing that over and over. The idea is that then when you're attempting this experience, it's so fresh in your memory that it's very easy to actually go ahead and do it. Now I have had a few experiences now that someone would label as astral projection. I don't necessarily know what to believe regarding it. I think the most likely explanation is that it is another type of dream that occurs in a different stage of sleep to a regular lucid dream. But whether or not that's what it is, or you're actually leaving your body, or it's something else entirely, I noticed that when performing the method in question that I just mentioned with actually rehearsing your exit from your body, I never had one of these experiences with that. Instead, what I did get was several lucid dreams in which I would start in my bed, get up and leave my room just in the manner that I'd rehearsed. And so it occurred to me recently, wait, why don't I do that again? Because I was actually really, really effective for getting lucid dreams. The only reason that I stopped doing it was because at the time I didn't want a lucid dream, I wanted one of these other experiences. And so it was annoying me that it wasn't giving me that, it was giving me the other one. Um, so recently, when I've been trying to get more lucid dreams again, I thought, actually, why don't I start doing that again? And I thought, as well as starting to do it again, why don't I make a video explaining how to do it? So in these, you know, astral projection guides, they say that you start in your bed when you're doing this. Um, or you start you know, by your bed and you basically memorize the route from leaving your bed. But the point is, we're not trying to do something that involves us starting in our body here. With a lucid dream, you can start you know, in your body, in bed, you can start on Mars, you can start in Egypt, you can start wherever you like. So you don't necessarily have to start this rehearsal process in any particular place. But what I want you to do is pick a location, maybe a room in your house, and maybe a park you like to go to, some place you would like to start your lucid dream that you can actually physically get to, and go there and start in the location, the very location where you would like to start, and just stand there and look around everywhere. Take in all your surroundings, go all the way around, look behind you, look in every single direction and look at what's around you. Feel the ground beneath your feet, really, really feel it. Feel the air on your arms, you know, even if there's no wind blowing and you're just inside, just feel the air, just feel the temperature of it. Notice if you can smell anything, if you can hear anything in the background, just try to take in all of your senses in that moment. And then I want you to slowly start taking a journey from that spot to another spot. So maybe you start off in your bedroom and you walk to your kitchen. You could do something like that. And with each step you take, pause and take in your surroundings. Not quite as completely as the first time, but you know, take in your surroundings, look around you and really feel yourself in that location. Feel what it's like to be in that spot. And pause every few steps and do this again on your journey. It's gonna feel a bit arduous at first, it's gonna take a little while because you're stopping every few steps. It's gonna take you a bit longer than usual to get to your location. But you do that so that you really memorize the journey. And when you get there, do the same thing coming back. Then, once you're actually back, you have two choices. If you want the best results, repeat this process a few times and you know start stopping at some key points along the way and start being really focused on those key points uh, you know maybe there's a doorway so really focus on the process of opening the door going through the door and you know feeling the handle in your hand seeing the door open hearing it creak that sort of thing 
and maybe there's some stairs, really focus on the process of walking down the stairs, the sound of your footsteps, every little detail like that. Do that for your journey to the destination and the journey back, perhaps a few times. And when you feel ready, when you feel like you've really memorized it, go back to your original spot and close your eyes while standing in that same position that you started in and just in your mind, take the journey that you just took. Walk yourself to that destination, but just in your mind. Don't actually do it. Just imagine yourself. Feel your feet making those same movements. Hear the sound of your feet. Feel yourself opening that door or, you know, walking past that tree or whatever it is that you're doing, wherever your journey is. See the whole process and feel it and take it slow. Don't rush it. Don't just imagine yourself zooming to the location. See it step by step, really slowly as you get there. And then see yourself coming back. And when you're back in the actual position that you started in, in your mind, then open your eyes. Now, you've rehearsed this process. Now, what you're next going to do is when you go to bed that night, before you go to sleep, when you're laying in bed, you're going to close your eyes and you're going to do it again. You're going to repeat that process of moving from destination A to destination B, solely in your mind, very slowly, taking in all the details while you do it, and then you're going to return back to bed. And what you're going to try to do is you're going to set the intention that when you're actually in a dream, you're going to do this process again. You're going to walk from that location to the other location. And as you do this, as you walk through that location, you're going to know that you're dreaming or you're going to remember to perform a reality check. Just like all methods, the more you perform this, the more likely it is to work. But this is especially true with this method because the more you repeat that process of rehearsing that one journey from those two spots, as long as you keep those two spots the same and you keep repeating that rehearsal, you keep going back there and walking those steps, taking it all in and doing it from memory, the more you do that, the more it embeds into your brain until at some point you are just going to have to dream about that process because it's so much part of what's going on in your brain. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have and you want to learn how to lucid dream, be sure to check out my 14 part lucid dreaming audio course where I teach you how to have your first lucid dream, how to have many more, how to control those dreams, face your fears, create your own dream worlds, do the things that you actually want to do. And at the end, your abilities get put to the test in several challenges. If that sounds interesting, check out the link up there. Anyway, if you enjoyed watching, be sure to subscribe. If you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon page. And if you want to keep watching, pick one of the videos on screen, go watch that, and I will see you soon. Take care.